Imagine a vehicle so revolutionary it could redefine our place in the universe. That's the promise of Starship. It's not just another rocket. It's a fully reusable system designed to carry crew and cargo to orbit, the Moon, Mars and beyond. Starship aims to make life multi-planetary, opening the solar system to humanity in ways once thought impossible. For decades rockets were single-use, making space travel costly and wasteful, like scrapping an airliner after one flight. Starship's full reusability could slash launch costs by orders of magnitude, turning distant dreams like lunar bases and Mars cities into real engineering projects. Standing taller than the Statue of Liberty, Starship is the most powerful rocket ever built, designed to lift over 100 tons, enough for habitats, equipment, and people. Previous rockets could only carry a small SUV to orbit. Starship is the heavy lift truck the solar system has been waiting for. But before we can reach Mars, Starship must prove itself through rapid, iterative testing, building, flying, failing, and learning. Each test flight, like the monumental Flight 10, pushes the vehicle to its limits, gathering data to improve safety and performance. SpaceX isn't just trying to reach space, they're mastering the brutal physics of returning again and again. Every flight, whether a perfect landing or a fiery explosion, forges progress through trial and error. This relentless cycle is how Starship evolves from experiment to reliable workhorse. The journey to the stars begins with learning from every launch. The greatest challenge for a reusable rocket is surviving the fiery plunge back to Earth. Starship's shield of thousands of black ceramic tiles protects it from plasma hotter than the sun. For Flight 10, SpaceX deliberately stress-tested this system, even removing some tiles to simulate real-world damage. Would the steel skin survive brief exposure? Could the remaining tiles handle the extra heat? The answers would reveal the shield's true limits. SpaceX also tested new tile materials including metallic options to compare durability and ease of manufacturing. By flying experimental tiles alongside proven ones they gathered real-world data under extreme conditions. The aft flaps, crucial for steering, faced the most intense heat and pressure. For this flight they received new and reinforced tiles. These flaps are among the hardest parts to protect combining complex movement with brutal re-entry forces. Understanding how to shield these surfaces is one of the last big puzzles for full reusability. Flight 10 would soon show just how tough that challenge is. The heat shield tests on the aft flaps revealed a critical weakness. As Starship descended some new tiles on the flaps leading edge peeled away, exposing the structure to searing heat and pressure. The loss of tiles triggered a chain reaction, with more tiles failing and visible scorching around the flaps hinge. This dramatic failure was a powerful lesson, even a small flaw can escalate rapidly at hypersonic speeds. But this was exactly the data SpaceX needed, clear evidence of where and how the system failed. Now, engineers can redesign the flaps with this failure mode in mind, making the next version stronger and safer. SpaceX's philosophy is to learn fast by flying hardware, not just simulating it. The damaged flap is more valuable than a perfect one. It exposed a hidden flaw before any crew ever flies. By pushing limits now, SpaceX is buying down risk for future astronauts. As Starship plunged through the atmosphere, it put on a spectacular light show, its underside glowing fiery orange against the black of space. This wasn't the ship burning, but the air around it turning to plasma at over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The orange glow was the heat shield doing its job, radiating away lethal energy and protecting the ship's structure. Despite flap damage and missing tiles, the main body's shield held strong, proving the design's resilience. Starship survived the trial by fire, maintaining integrity through peak heating, a major leap from previous attempts. Surviving re-entry is the hardest part of reusability, and Flight 10 proved it's possible. After slowing to subsonic speeds, the ship was intentionally destroyed by its flight termination system just after splashdown. This was planned, as the vehicle carried experimental hardware not meant for recovery. The real prize was the data streamed back during descent, revealing the secrets of its fiery journey. Sometimes sacrificing the ship is the cost of progress. Every bit of telemetry brings Starship closer to routine, safe returns. Beyond the drama of re-entry, Flight 10 achieved several historic milestones. Most notably, Starship executed its first controlled vertical splashdown, flipping from belly flop to upright and gently touching the ocean. 
This proves the precise control needed for future landings on pads, the Moon, or Mars. The mission also deployed eight Starlink satellite simulators, successfully testing the innovative payload door in space. Proving this mechanism works is vital for future cargo missions. Another breakthrough and in-space engine restart, essential for orbital maneuvers, lunar trips and Mars journeys. These successes, resilient vehicle, payload deployment, engine relight and controlled landing, mark a giant leap for Starship. Achieving all in one flight shows the system's maturity. Flight 10 was a dress rehearsal for operational missions just over the horizon. Starship Flight 10's success sent ripples through the space industry. NASA, relying on Starship for its Artemis lunar lander, celebrated the controlled landing as a major step toward returning astronauts to the moon. Private space leaders like Jared Isaac Mann hailed the flight as a win for commercial exploration and future private missions. Starship's reusability and payload capacity make Mars missions feasible for the first time. The technology's proven, re-entry survival, engine relights, controlled landings, are the foundation for interplanetary travel. This flight was a tangible step toward a sustainable human presence beyond Earth. The mission's success boosts NASA's confidence, emboldens private pioneers, and brings Mars closer to reality. Flight 10 wasn't just a test, it was a paradigm shift for space travel. It showed humanity is ready to leave its cradle and explore the cosmos. The future is no longer science fiction, it's engineering in action. With Flight 10's achievements, SpaceX is already tackling the next challenges. Top priority, improving the heat shield, especially on the aft flaps, using lessons from lost tiles to build a tougher system. Each new Starship will be more robust, aiming for hundreds of flights with minimal refurbishment. The next big hurdle is orbital refueling, launching tanker Starships to transfer propellant in space unlocking missions to the Moon and Mars. SpaceX will soon test this complex choreography, the final key to deep space travel, the long-term vision Mars. By 2028 or 2029, uncrewed starships will deliver infrastructure, rovers, and Optimus robots to prepare for humans. These robots will set up power, scout resources, and build a propellant plant using Martian materials. The first humans will arrive at a prepared outpost, able to refuel for the return trip. Flight 10's fiery descent was just the beginning of humanity's journey from Earth to the stars.